Hi everyone, and welcome back. In this video I want to talk about custom reusable widgets. In the video we'll go over how to implement them and go over some of the advantages of using them. What we'll be making today is a custom password field. Password fields are something that is very common in, in mobile apps, especially if you have anything to do with user accounts on there. It can be used in multiple places, for ex example on a login screen, on a register screen, on a forgot or update password screen. So it's a nice and simple example of a reusable widget that showcases the advantages of them and why you should be incorporating them into your Flutter applications. So you can see here I've got a completely vanilla Flutter application. All I've done is added a text field that just says hello there. What we're going to do now is create a custom widget, then remove the current text field from the main.dart file and replace that with our new custom password field widget. So now that we have our custom widget being referenced in the main.dart file, I'm just going to update the text of this new custom password field widget just to say something else, it's just so that we can confirm that any changes we make in one widget are being reflected in whatever widget they are being referenced in. Hopefully what you can grab from the video already is one of the key benefits of a reusable widget is the separation of concerns. Now, I know that the vanilla application that we're using currently for the basis of this example is already very simple to follow. There's nothing too complex going on here at all. All we've got is a text field. But imagine this was a more complex or mature application with far larger and nest, more nested widget trees. What you're able to do is isolate functionality and make your widget tree more maintainable and readable. By making use of custom widgets, you're able to more easily eliminate repeated code, as well as making debugging easier for yourself by extracting functionality away from the main widget tree, which means adding functionality or resolving issues in a 50-line Dart class as opposed to a 200-line one. So because this is, a pass this is a password field we're making, I'm just going to change this to a text form field as opposed to a regular text field, just so we can get easy access to something called a suffix icon. This will be so we can toggle the visibility of the password on and off. And now in order to give us the functionality we want, I'm going to include a boolean as a piece of state to toggle the obscure text value when the user taps the suffix icon to either show or hide the text being entered. We'll use an inkwell for this example, but a gesture detector or icon button would achieve the same thing as the suffix icon property accepts a generic widget instead of being restricted to an icon specifically. Now you can see here we've got everything hooked up. I'm entering a piece of text which is by default obscured. I can then tap on the icon to either show or hide that piece of text that I've just entered. Now, currently this widget looks exactly how we want, but there's no way of getting the text out of the field. To do this, we'll add something called a text editing controller, and add that in as an argument to the constructor. What this allows us to do is instantiate a text editing controller in the parent widget, for example the login screen, and pass that into our custom password field as an argument. The controller gives us control over the field with actions such as reading the current value of the field, clearing the text, adding or updating listeners for any piece of state associated with it and so on. Doing this will allow us to have access to whatever the user is typing into the password field from the parent widget. And that's it. Hopefully, with this very simple example, you've picked up some useful pieces of information around custom reusable widgets and how they can make your code more readable, maintainable and scalable. Cheers. See you in the next one.